Four hours from now, we will know who will represent the Democrats in the race for State Senate District 42, representing parts of the Tri-Counties. Polls will open at 7 tomorrow morning, but before you cast your vote, Skyler Hill has a last pitch candidates are making to voters. Skyler. A position that was left vacant after Senator Marlon Kempson took a job at the White House is now being sought after by one Republican and three current Democrat state representatives. Dion Tedder, Wendell Gilliard, and John Moore have all been leaders at the State House for several years. And while they may agree on some things, tonight they're pointing out their differences as to why they deserve to represent Charleston in the Senate. Again, education, criminal justice reform, housing, those are my top three priorities. Um, and I think that's all interconnected. So I just ask that people go out tomorrow um, and, and give me a chance to be your next state senator. Um, I have proven leadership skills. I know how to work across the aisle and I can get things done. The stores, the gas stations, we knocked on your doors and we you invited me into your homes. I called you on the phone. You've seen uh, me on social media. You've seen uh, ads that have been ran on our behalf on TV. You've seen all of my billboards across District 42. And I'm doing that because I care about you. This election is about moving forward. This election is about we, the people, and not I, the party. I, I, I can't say that enough. And I don't mind sounding redundant or repetitive or how everybody want to play. Because there is a whole plethora of problems out there that we should be dealing with. Whichever candidate comes out on top tomorrow night will go on to face Republican Rosa Kay in the November race. In studio, Scholar Hill. Live 5 News. All right, thank you, Skyler. We will have the results to tomorrow's race once a winner is declared. And if there is no winner, a winner and a runoff is necessary, that will happen September 19th.